and what a wonderful performance there of Say It Ain't So. And listen, I am so sorry to say that it is so that we had to cut this off there, folks. Um, Rory and Adam, you have put so much time and preparation into that piece for us. Um, that sound is a very important part of the broadcast because it brings us together to the power of music and really connects us with the spirit of this broadcast, the magic of it. Ah, yeah, sure. I mean, when you say a whole lot of preparation, <laughs> Uh, we were just happy to be able to play a few yeah. tracks together, you know? Yeah, we were just glad to be able to play a bit of music before the end of the broadcast. <laughs> a bit of music! <laughs> Lads, you bring the magic to the broadcast. That's right. really what that sound is about. So thank you very much for that. Thanks, Lad. Yeah, uh, it's truly painful to say goodbye to you so soon. But you know what else is painful, Trina? Getting your legs waxed. <laughs> <laughs> Up next is Wax Thanks. World. Hey! Oh. I hope that was okay. We have to the last one. Hello, it's Brian O'Donovan here in Washington. This is just a quick message to the DCU Media Production Society to wish you the very best of luck on your 24-hour charity broadcast. I myself was in the DCU Media Production Society when I was in college there. I absolutely loved it. I know how much hard work goes into it though, however, but it is also great fun. Well done to you all on this charity broadcast and the very best of luck. Me. Hi, I'm Marshall Carl. Me. Hi. Hi, I'm Marshall Caveman. Me. Carl Reef. Me. I'm Marsh, and you're watching the DCU TV 24 hour broadcast. Keep donating, or you're going straight to the principal's office. Hi there folks, Hugh Carr here from Joe.ie and I want you, yeah you whoever's watching this, to tune in to the DCU TV 24 hour marathon from Saturday the 18th to Sunday the 19th of December, all in aid of the Dublin Rape Crisis Centre. And don't forget to donate, you mad thing. Well everyone, thanks for coming uh, to the ads workshop, I know you're all very, very excited. Um, and thanks for all booking in on Clubs and Socks, it was uh, really, really important. Um, unfortunately a few people obviously couldn't get in, but that's what happens, you know, with capacities and stuff. But uh, we really, really appreciate you coming, cheers. That's an ad, eh? Hey, girlies! I'm Kevin. And I'm PJ. And together we host the podcast. I'm Grandma. Say it with us, girlies. Is that Woo! cringe? Is that That's a bit so cringe? cringe. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, girls. It's a bit cringe when we do it in the city. I know, but Anyway, sure. the point of this video is... DCU are holding a 24-hour charity broadcast mm -hmm. and they're looking to raise much-needed funds for the Rape Crisis Centre in Dublin. And they're trying to beat their record last year, which they raised an amazing 12 grand. Come here. So it's like, it's a big number to beat. But, but we can do it. We can do it. If you're not stingy. If you're not stingy. Reach into those pockets. Reach into those pockets. And fork out a few coins. Spend less on the Secret Centre and mark... <laughs> You know what I mean? And put it towards the worthy cause. Put it towards it. It's on the 18th and 19th of December. Mm -hmm. Be sure to tune in. Girlies, Well done, Mark. everyone at DCU. Well done, We love to see it. Bye, Bye. Hiya, Lyra here. And I just want to wish the best of luck to the DCU Media Production Society who are holding their annual event, a 24-hour broadcast, in aid of the Dublin Rape Crisis Centre. You can tune in on the 18th and 19th at 9pm on their YouTube channel. Hi, I, I'm Marisho Kiarva. Me. Hi, I'm Marisho Carl. Me. Hi, I'm Marisho Caveman. Me. Carl Reef. 
Me. I'm Murish, and you're watching the DCU TV 24 hour broadcast. Keep donating, or you're going straight to the principal's office. Hi there, folks. Hugh Carr here from Joe.ie, and I want you, yeah, you, whoever's watching this, to tune in to the DCU TV 24 hour marathon from Saturday the 18th to Sunday the 19th of December. All in aid of the Dublin Rape Crisis Centre. And don't forget to donate, you mad thing. Well, everyone, thanks for coming uh, to the ads workshop. I know you're all very, very excited. Um, and thanks for all booking in on clubs and socks. It was uh, really, really important. Um, unfortunately, a few people obviously couldn't get in. But that's what happens, you know, with capacities and stuff. But uh, we really, really appreciate you coming. Cheers. So basically that's an ad. Eh? Hey girlies! I'm Kevin. And I'm PJ. And together we host the podcast. I'm Grandma. Say it with us girlies. Is that Woo! cringe? Is that's a bit cringe? so cringe. Yeah, sorry. Sorry girls. It's a bit cringe when we do it in situ. I know, but Anyway, sure. the point of this video is DCU are holding a 24 hour charity broadcast mm -hmm. and they're looking to raise much needed funds for the Rape Crisis Centre in Dublin. And they're trying to beat their record last year which they raised an amazing 12 grand. Come here. So it's like it's a big number to beat. But, but we can do it. We can do it. If you're not stingy. If you're not stingy. Reach into those pockets. Reach into those pockets. And fork out a few coins. Spend less on the Secret Centre and mark. <laughs> You know what I mean? And put it towards a worthy cause. Put it towards it. It's on the 18th and 19th of December. Mm -hmm. Be sure to tune in. Girlies, Well done, Mark. everyone at DCU. Well done, We girlies. love to see it. Bye, Bye girlies. Hiya, Lyra here. And I just want to wish the best of luck to the DCU Media Production Society who are holding their annual event, a 24-hour broadcast, in aid of the Dublin Rape Crisis Centre. You can tune in on the 18th and 19th at 9pm on their YouTube channel. Shane Walkland, centre half goalkeeper. Ava <laughs> Kelly, flanker. Niall Walsh, point guard. David Shalala, sweeper. Yeah.
Ashling Hurley. I don't know what the positions are. <laughs> Sarah Tuma, Goalie. <laughs> Matthew Joyce, member of the audience. <laughs> Laura Kelly, Super. Woo! And go. Oh, I'm sick of that. Woo! Hiya, this is uh, Dara Kyo, the president of DCU, and I'm delighted to be here. We have about another 40 minutes to go on the 24-hour broadcast, which has been epic, and I'm sure everybody's enjoyed it. Can I say on behalf of the university how proud we are of all our students and delighted to see raising over €9,000 for a wonderful cause, the Rape Crisis Centre. We still have time to go. Maybe we could push that beyond 10. So congratulations to everybody and just a hint of what's coming next. Uh, <laughs> so look after yourselves and don't scream too loud, gentlemen. Okay. So happy Christmas to everybody and well done to everybody here today. Saza and we are the F24. <laughs> Fast start. And then throw it. DCU, best of luck in your 24-hour broadcast, 18th to the 19th of December, my birthday the 19th, what a great day, uh, you guys, have, you should be so proud over the past few years what you've done to raise funds for some fantastic organisations and charities throughout Dublin and Ireland. Dublin Rape Crisis Centre is a massive organisation and I know they'll be delighted as well with the money that you're going to be raising for the 24 hours. Guys, best of luck. If you can donate any money, there'll be a link below here. Click on the link. Donate for the guys. Listen in, tune in, watch. And uh, I can't wait to see it all unfold. DCU, 24-hour broadcast. Best of luck, guys. And uh, you're going to absolutely smash it. Where is she? Who? Hello and welcome back to the DCU TV 24 hour broadcast. We now have Wax World. Woo! So a couple of you might know, but the name of the game is to wax some of the lads in a shameless attempt of getting more donations. Katie, how far are, are we off 10 grand? We have less than, over, just over 500 to go. We have just, just over 500, 500 and we have 40 minutes to get there. And I'm we sure everyone at home can help us. Woo! Woo! So first up, we have our lovely TV manager, Owen. How are you feeling? Um, yeah, feeling great. Great 24 hours. Um, brilliant 24 hours. Yeah. 
Fantastic. Uh, delighted to be the first in the chair as well. Yeah, the hot seat. Yeah. Uh, um, where are we going for today? Let's go on the thighs, maybe. Okay. Do you want us to do both at once or one at a time? Let's do both at once. Both at once. Both yeah. at once. Okay, I might get you to hold this Here. then. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Yeah, there you go. Oh. <laughs> there. Yeah. So, I'm talking to you how you're feeling. Um, I'm, I'm kind of regretting the toys now at this point. Oh, I feel like I might have put it on during <laughs> The Shane last year was actually grand. Give me a um, shot. <laughs> please donate, is, is how I'm feeling. <laughs> please, there's literally, you can't see them, but off camera, there's literally 15 lads waiting to be waxed as well. So start getting your donations in. Um, Okay, we're ready? Yeah. Uh, do you got a count or anything? Or? Yeah, you can give me a count. One, two, three. Oh! 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 oh my god. That's so smooth. That's they disgusting. So <laughs> do you want to see the rest of your leg? Or? Uh, no, I'll leave You'll it. Leave it. Well, <laughs> Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. <laughs> Woo! Thank you, Owen! Okay, who do we have next? Jack! Woo! Back in the hot seat. Jack is back in the hot seat. Now, Jack has been manning our tech for the whole, for the whole 24 hours, really. 23 of 24 hours bar an hour where Sarah caught me napping, and it was words. A few, to say the least. How are you <laughs> feeling, Jack? I'm ready to go to bed now. Ready to go to bed. Not before a quick wax. Not before a quick wax had to be done. And I liked the satisfactory kind of smoothness of it last year, so we're here. We're here out of apprehension this year, not terrifiedness. That's always the way. Um, so are we going for the shins, or what's the story? Uh, I should look, I'll leave it up to you. I'll leave it up to you. I'll take the mic off you there. Will we do one, shiv one shin, one calf? Okay. Yeah, I, I don't think I get an option, so let's go for it. I'll hold both the mics, why not? Are you doing a shin? I'll do a calf there. Now that they're putting it on, I remember what a shin is. I didn't think that was it. And this is the moment where I remember my parents watched this as well. Lovely. Ah. Heart rate's getting a bit quick now. I'm starting to feel the sweat go. Are you ready? Uh, no, but let's go for it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, that is much worse than it was last year. Woo! There you go. Surely that and Merry Christmas Ooh, to you. Satisfaction. Lovely. Surely that deserves a donation. Surely. Yeah. I see a certain Jack preparing his chest there. Are you? Nine hundred what? Nine point six now. Woo! We are four hundred away from ten grand. We can do this. We can do this. Keep donating. Donate for Jack. Jack's getting his chest waxed yep. voluntarily. Yep. That's how much he wants ten K. Jack, you've been one of the best dressed attendees of the broadcast yep. this year. How how's your experience been? Uncomfortable, I won't lie. The, the suit was a good plan maybe at three o'clock last night, but over time it's gotten a little bit more, you know. So you've been in the suit like 18 hours? Yes, yes. I can't, I'm not gonna lie, I don't think it's about to get any more comfortable mm. with yeah. a wax strip on your chest, yeah. <laughs> but we'll go for it anyway. Okay, will we go for the one? Okay, will you, I'm gonna need you to hold that, or maybe I get, will you hold that? Okay. Oh god. That is a bit personal, isn't it? Considering we're feel going. Yeah. I feel nervous. His heart, how's his heart rate there? His, heart rate, his heart's pumping there, I won't mm. lie, lads. <laughs> we just need 250 euro! Hashtag DCU TV24! Okay, Jack, are you ready? Yep. Three, two, two one. Woo! <laughs> Okay, 250, 250, come on. Oh! Oh, seriously. We're both gonna do our 
bellies. You're both going to do your best. Do you want, Katie, do you want to do Marisha's yes, belly? Definitely. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. 9.75. Where is your belly? Uh, it was awkward enough to be wearing the crop top today. That's <laughs> mine's worse. Yeah, yeah, actually, now that I think about it. Oh, lucky me, I guess. <laughs> a lot of skin. That's just. Would you be better standing up, yeah, I'm thinking? Stand up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay. Take the mic. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Tell us about your broadcast, Connor. See, look, there's a lot of. Oh, Tell that's pretty poor. Uh, <laughs> tired? <laughs> Uh, you know, been caught rapid a few times now. Oh, I, uh, I already don't smooth. like this. <laughs> you know, I was, I was enjoying it, you know. I'm really sorry. Why did I... Yeah, we'll just leave that Katie, can I use that? Yeah. You leaving it there actually Ooh, makes brother. me more nervous. <laughs> okay, right. <laughs> Sarah, you ready? No, I'm not ready. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. I'm going to scream. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to go. <laughs> oh, man, this is great. <laughs> this, this, is, it's for this is the worst idea. <laughs> Donate for me and my belly. Our bellies. Our bellies. Our bellies. Our mutual bellies. Oh my god. Two, one. Oh! Oh, oh you oh, still watch it! Do I have to go again? Do you want us to go again? Oh, oh no, there's just, there's just loads of wax there. Oh, I don't know. There's just a lot of oh, wax on. I'm sorry about that, Connor. I'm really sorry about that. that. People donate for Connor. Oh, Connor has we wax on. Woo! 190 more. This is going to be a bit of a trek, so you can take off as much as you want. <laughs> okay. Are you are you saying the whole? Whatever you want. Everything. Take it all off. We, we only have a certain amount of wax strips. Right, do right up the middle. <laughs> the whole stomach. <laughs> An arrow goes two there and then one there. Go for it. Will we do it? Yeah. Okay. What's left? 190? 140 quid. If this doesn't get 140, it's shamed. you shamed are shameful bit. people. You are shameful people. Dead right, Shane. Dead right. Okay, so we're going to go for a little arrow, Shane. I might ask you to hold this. Yeah. Okay, well we go. So two. And also like one in the middle, and then yeah, and then two. Yeah. Okay. Oh, not on the nipple. No, we'll go. We'll try and avoid the nipples. Go there. Maybe. Yeah. Up on the chest. Oh. oh. <laughs> Up there. Yeah. Go for it. I don't care. Okay. Oh. Look at COVID testing gloves. <laughs> <laughs> That's going too, don't worry. Okay, can we get it? We'll get another one then as well. Yep. Um, so Shane's a first year communication student with us and Shane, you were a fan of appearing on the live shows this broadcast, weren't you? I'm not going to lie, it made my semester. I won't Aww. lie, so I quite liked it. You quite liked it. Yeah. Are you going to do it again next year, Shane? Of course, man. E even after being waxed? Yes. This is a voluntary choice, so... This is a voluntary choice for your donations, people. How are we doing, Owen? A hundred and thirty-five. That's doable, lads. That's right. doable. Okay, Shane, I'm going to have to ask you to hold that again. I'm going to do both at one time. Go for it. Okay, three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> that, that one's disgusting. <laughs> that is manky. <laughs> Thank you, Shane. Woo! Okay, Adam and oh, Adam and Niall Walsh. How are we, lads? Yeah, that's where, what are we looking at here? Oh, uh, my legs. I'll do what Jack did. You're going to go a, sh a shin and a calf? Uh, uh, wherever you want them, my legs. 9,915. Woo! 85 more! 85 more! Okay. I'm going to do what I did last year. What are you going to do? I'm going to follow what the lads did today. 
The snail trail. Yeah. You Come on. go on now. Oh, oh. I don't want the leg. No, no, no. How about I? No, dude, give him the snail trail. No, the snail trail? Give me the snail trail. Let's see. It. Oh, no, the oh. leg. <laughs> well, I get the strip on there for you, and you can. <laughs> Which? Yeah, I do, baby. This one? <laughs> okay. It's the money trail. <laughs> oh, stop. Okay. That's ten grand. That's ten grand. A big, big thank you to Niall Walsh's snail trail. Here we go. Three, two. He did. <laughs> thank you, Owen, and thank you, Niall. Off you go. OK. Okay, Adam is our lovely, uh, one half of our lovely FM team. How are you, Adam? Uh... <laughs> I imagine it's quite a roller coaster considering we've just hit 10 grand, but there's also a wax strip on here. Uh, no, yeah, I didn't get paid for this. Niall Walsh got a lovely sum of money for reaching that, and now I have to just do it because. Who's going to donate for Adam's snail trail? Adam's feeling lonely. You did, yeah. I'll never forget that. <laughs> Maybe a lovely viewer at home will feel compelled to donate for Adam's Snail Trail. Who knows? Perhaps. Perhaps. You, you get us over the 10 grand. To get us over. Okay. Mm. Right, do you want me to hold that? Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Three, two. Oh! I'm oh. oh, Jesus. Oh, you know, you know, they are on my boxers. <laughs> Oh, are they? <laughs> yes. We'll just get oh, them easy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Oh, really got to get them. Uh, really got to get it in there. Why am I? This is the second year in a row I've had two put on after not getting it right the first time. <laughs> it's clearly a problem with your hair growth, yeah, not the wax yeah, strips. Okay, part two. Three, two, one. Oh. Daniel, how are you feeling? Daniel is our other TV manager. Can we get a big woo for Daniel? Woo! Daniel is one half of the team making tonight possible. Just hit 10K, how are we feeling? Excellent, but I'm nervous because Adam's snail trail did not look good. Are you going for the snail trail as well? Well, I don't have a lot of hair there. <laughs> Do you have a hairy leg that we... I have we a hairy leg, yeah. Do you have... Let it won't off. be that sore, though. Show me the leg. The shin, the shin will be sore. The Would shin you... won't be... Do the calf. Yeah. The calf yeah. Can we do the calf and the shin? Yeah, 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 go on. Okay, right. I'm going to need you... You tell us a bit about your experience there, Don. So, uh, how's everyone feeling after raising 10k? Woo! Woo! Oh, it's so cold. <laughs> Why is it so cold? Oh, oh, I saw you putting on Jack, and it just did Jack. Did you Jack tell you to put it on? Put what on? On his the back of his calf, because. Oh, how was it, Jack? Oh, I don't want to. Yeah. Oh! 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 Jesus Christ! Merry Christmas! Oh my God! Look at that! Get some aloe vera on that when you get home, Daniel. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Dan! Woo! And we have another duo up. Yes. Um, 
Shane O'Loughlin, one of our lovely main stage presenters, and Donal, another excellently dressed <laughs> member. <laughs> Woo! Lads, how are we feeling? Uh, ecstatic. Ecstatic. What are we getting waxed? We have, well, kind snail of trails. snail trails oh, yeah. what's or legs. Of them? Yeah. You know what? It's better than nothing. How are we doing donation wise? Perfect. Do we have any? coming in do we have it uh, we might move on to some requests we have after this but for now let me see those snail trails lovely yeah. no i might give Perfect. i might give you the yeah don't you, you, you do the all the show <laughs> you're gonna present it here. yeah maybe open the bottom open the bottom one yeah. okay okay Katie, which, am i better putting the round thing way down this yeah, the round okay i haven't done it <laughs> 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 Oh, I hate it already. It's Wait, is oh, I'm not enjoying this. No, it's not that. Sarah, would you like to be the honest? <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm so sorry. Sarah, if you mess this up, I'll never forgive you. How do I do it? You pull it up. You pull it up. Pull it up. If Amazing. you do it wrong, it's done. <laughs> okay, wow. If it goes wrong, it's all over. <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh, fuck. Three. Two, one. It's all sloppy well looking. Good. Thanks. It's fine. Um, now, before we have anyone else step up, um, our lovely Miss Aoife O'Reilly has requested that one Rory Egan come up to be waxed. Um, Aoife. Uh, has Aoife recommended any particular body part? She's given me a choice. Okay. okay. I'm going to be very boring and conservative and go with my leg. Okay, shin or calf? Lads? Shin. Go with the thigh. Go with the thigh. Go, I vote thigh. I'm not dropping these. Okay, yes. I see how far I Yeah, why not? Both, okay. Um, Thank you, Aoife, for putting that request in. We love you, Aoife. And if anyone at home wants to see any of the lads get waxed, be sure to include that with your donation and we'll get them up, even if they've already been waxed. Woo! And pending. That's what I have to say. Anyway. Can I just say it took five years for MPS to get me waxed? Your last broadcast. Oh, don't get me started, Sarah. Okay. Whew. NASA Montague, hi. How are you doing? I don't know. It's just you're not watching. Oh! That's, it's so much worse after like three seconds. That was such a delayed reaction. Yeah. Well, there you go. There you go. Thank you, Aoife O'Reilly. <laughs> okay, we are down one box of wax strips, so we're going to have to choose. Fix the mess, you made. Oh, dear. Sort this out. I don't know how to fix that, Adam, if I'm being very... <laughs> Um, would anyone like to, Sophie, would you like to come up and try and sort this out? Because I don't really know how. Yeah, do you want to try fix Adam's snail trail? Come on up. Sophie McDevitt, the other half of our FM team. Woo! So Adam's not satisfied with his customer. <laughs> Sophie fears it might ruin her working relationship with Adam. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think sideways. Okay, so I'll hold that. Yeah. Oh 
my god. Oh. I'm not taking that. Circle moment. Right. Woo! Um, so now we have our lovely vice chair, Mr. Rory Flynn. Woo! Now Rory's already lost quite a bit of hair in the broadcast. Rory, how are you feeling about the new haircut? Oh, it's, it's a pretty good time. Oh, woo! Wait, what's she say? Uh, she said 10, I don't know what the figure was, but. Woo! Um, I'd say I thought that it wouldn't be right to leave the final broadcast without getting waxed. It wouldn't seem right. Without getting waxed. And a fun fact, I waxed Rory's nail trail on our first broadcast. Yeah. So, so, a full circle moment. <laughs> Wholesome one for everyone at home. Um, I might ask you to take that, right? <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, I forgot that this is actually really sore. <laughs> Why am I doing this, actually? <laughs> okay, okay. Your hair looks great. Thank you. At least, at least my hair will look great. Oh, no. Are you ready? No, you ready? I'm not. All right, go on. Three, two, one. Oh! oh that was a weird time. It always stings a little more after a second. Oh. Oh, oh you're right. Yeah, no, it's across the way. Oh, right. Do you want me to go across there and try and fix that up a tiny bit? I don't think... Where's the guy on the mic? I don't think we need to. <laughs> OK. Rory Flynn, everyone! Woo! To everyone at home still with us, thank you for watching, thank you for donating. Who's up next? Anyone? Did I hear Jared Shields wants to get waxed? There you go. Hey, no. How are we feeling, dear? Good? Yeah, just gonna do my legs. Your leg, do you want a shin? I don't mind. I'll let Katie do the honors. Thanks. Do you want to do two or one? I just want to be okay. So, dear, how's the broadcast been? It's been brilliant. Bye, Dara. Thanks so much for coming. Um, right, so. Um, God, yeah, get that wax strip yeah, on yeah. there, girl. Get that wax strip on there. You ready? Yeah. Ooh. 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 <laughs> okay. That's kind of clean. <laughs> That's quite satisfying. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's nice. Uh, Jared just said, That's nice. <laughs> So we have failed in our mission. Would anyone else like to come forward for one last wax? Connor Smith, Connor Smith, Connor Smith, Connor Smith, Connor Smith. Woo! Okay. I'm going to do something unheard of. I'm going to get my arm waxed. Oh, unusual. I say the most intriguing plus, isn't that what it says, sir? Absolutely. <laughs> Lads, how much should we make in one hour? Are we after making like, what? We're, we're nearly after making like a grand in one hour. <laughs> I can't do maths, but <laughs> it's looking like that. <laughs> And that's incredible, and we couldn't have done it without everyone at home. So thank you so much for sticking with yeah, us. Yeah. We hope you enjoy this last wax of Wax World. No, don't go away with both arms, will you? Go away. <laughs> ah, both arms, Connor, yeah, come on. I have to hold a microphone at some stage. Well, okay. Yeah. Okay. Katie Roach. 
I know we didn't get together on Take Me Out, but come on, go easy on me now. Be it like Adele, be, go easy on me. And Sarah, I know I've caused you a lot of headaches as a presenter, but you know, just bear, the, bear in mind that you're my favorite person in the world. Aww. Okay. Okay, kind of. Apart from Kate Burke, who's my fair godmother. <laughs> and her leather jacket from the 80s. Okay, okay ready? Oh, God Three. bless my life. Ah. Oh. Oh. Wow! Buttery smooth, baby smooth. That's actually oh, gorgeous. Not an extraordinary pin. No, are, are these my souvenirs? They're your souvenirs. Woo! Um, so I think that's everything from us, Katie. What do you think? Yeah, that was a great experience. Uh, that has been the one show I've wanted to host since first year. So dreams really do come true, kids. And so that's it from Wax World. But if you stick around for a couple of minutes, we're going to have a few thank yous, say a few goodbyes, and sing a few carols. So don't go anywhere. Brian O'Donovan here in Washington. This is just a quick message to the DCU Media Production Society to wish you the very best of luck on your 24-hour charity broadcast. I myself was in the DCU Media Production Society when I was in college there. I absolutely loved it. I know how much hard work goes into it, though, however, but it is also great fun. Well done to you all on this charity broadcast, and the very best of luck. Watch. Watch the broadcast. Hey, how's it going? It's Morgan here from the band Milk, just encouraging you all to look at the DCU Media Production Society's 24 hour broadcast. They'll be running it from the 18th to the 19th of December, and it's in aid of the Dublin Rape Crisis Centre. So please do tune in, it's for a very worthy cause, and um, yeah, it would be very much appreciated. Thank you. Oh, hey little Timmy, what brings you in here during lunch? Just wondering if you'd heard of the DCU TV 24 hour broadcast in the Dublin Rape Crisis Centre. To be honest, I'd rather talk about science if that's okay. Oh yeah, sure. Why don't we talk about the fact we're on a giant piece of rock travelling east? Hi, I, I'm Mersho Kiarva. Me. Hi, I'm Mersho Carl. Me. Hi. Hi, I'm Mersho Caveman. Me. I'm Carl Reef. Me. I'm Mersh, and you're watching the DCU TV 24 hour broadcast. Keep donating, or you're going straight to the principal's office. Hi there, folks. Hugh Carr here from Joe.ie, and I want you, yeah, you, whoever's watching this, to tune in to the DCU TV 24 hour marathon from the Saturday, the 18th to Sunday, the 19th of December. All in aid of the Dublin Rape Crisis Centre. And don't forget to donate, you mad thing. Well, everyone, thanks for coming uh, to the ads workshop. I know you're all very, very excited. Um, and thanks for all booking in on Clubs and Socks. It was uh, really, really important. Um, unfortunately, a few people obviously couldn't get in. But that's what happens, you know, with capacities and stuff. But uh, we really, really appreciate you coming. Cheers.
So basically, that's an ad. Eh? <laughs> hey, girlies! So I'm Kevin. And I'm PJ. And together we host the podcast. I'm Grandma. Say it with us, girlies. Is that cringe? <laughs> Is that that's a bit cringe? so cringe. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, girls. It's a bit cringe when we do it in situ. I know, but Anyway, sure. the point of this video is... DCU are holding a 24-hour charity broadcast mm -hmm. and they're looking to raise much-needed funds for the Rape Crisis Centre in Dublin. And they're trying to beat their record last year, which they raised an amazing 12 grand. Come here. So it's like, it's a big number to beat. But, but we can do it. We can do it. If you're not stingy. If you're not stingy. Reach into those pockets. Reach into those pockets. And fork out a few coins. Spend less on the Secret Centre and work. <laughs> You know what I mean? And put it towards the world they cause. Put it towards it. It's on the 18th and 19th of December. Mm -hmm. Be sure to tune in. Girlies. Well done, Mark. everyone at DCU. Well done, we girlies. We love to see it. Bye. Hi, Hiya, Lyra here, and I just want to wish the best of luck to the DCU Media Production Society, who are holding their annual event, a 24-hour broadcast, in aid of the Dublin Rape Crisis Centre. You can tune in on the 18th and 19th at 9pm on their YouTube channel. Hi, I, I'm Mersho Kiarva. Me. Hi, I'm Mersho Carl. Me. Hi. Hi, I'm Mersho Caveman. Me. Mersho Carl Reef. Me. I'm Mersh, and you're watching the DCU TV 24 hour broadcast. Keep donating, or you're going straight to the principal's office. Hi there folks, Hugh Carr here from Joe.ie and I want you, yeah you whoever's watching this, to tune in to the DCU TV 24 hour marathon from the Saturday the 18th to Sunday the 19th of December, all in aid of the Dublin Rape Crisis Centre. And don't forget to donate, you mad things. Well everyone, thanks for coming uh, to the ads workshop, I know you're all very, very excited. Um, and thanks for all booking in on clubs and socks, it was uh, really, really important. Um, unfortunately a few people obviously couldn't get in, but that's what happens, you know, with capacities and stuff. But uh, we really, really appreciate you coming, cheers. So basically, that's an ad. Eh? <laughs> hey, girlies! So I'm Kevin. And I'm PJ. And together we host the podcast. I'm Grandma. Say it with us, girlies. Is that Woo! cringe? Is that that's cringe? so cringe. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, girls. It's a bit cringe when we do it in situ. I know, but Anyway, sure. the point of this video is... DCU are holding a 24-hour charity broadcast mm -hmm. and they're looking to raise much-needed funds for the Rape Crisis Centre in Dublin. And they're trying to beat their record last year, which they raised an amazing 12 grand. Come here. So it's like, it's a big number to beat. But, but we can do it. We can do it. If you're not stingy. If you're not stingy. Well, ladies and gentlemen, for the final time, welcome back to the DCU TV 24-hour broadcast. Yeah! We are currently sitting on an absolutely amazing uh, fundraising goal of €10,265. Euro. Um, it's unbelievable and it's all thanks to you. Um, so thank you so, so much from me and every single person who's been here for the past 24 hours. It really does make it 100% worth it. Before I introduce the presenters for their final link, I just want to um, call out our competition winners. And there's not one forever in the audience. Poor he's get, get a bit rowdy. <laughs> so the winner of that lovely getaway to Clare with the meal and the restaurant is Roisin McCardle.
Um, but thanks to our lovely sponsors at the Campus Store, we've got two DCU jumpers for two runners up, Donald Kelly and the Instagram tag, at Gavin Loser. <laughs> Is it? Yeah! I'm sure he's not a loser. He goes to Blanche. Oh, oh. <laughs> he goes to Blanche. But um, yeah, you'll hear plenty more from us later. So for the final time, please welcome your four broadcast presenters. So guys, this is our final goodbye. Cannot believe it. A little bit shook, but that's okay. Um, I just want to say thank you to everyone so much for letting us be here today and giving us this wonderful opportunity because we've had so much fun. I mean, from the technical difficulties at the start to raising 10, over 10,000 euro, it's just, it's phenomenal. We'd like to thank everyone, but just in particular, we'd like to thank Sarah, Owen, and Rory. Rory, there's my oars. <laughs> um, you guys have just helped us so much, and with any, any single concern. And Dan, always there for any single need that we have. It's just, it's been an amazing and such a supportive team, and I don't think we would be able to do it without you guys. Well, I don't think I know that there'd be no hope that we'd be able to get through it. If we got tired, you guys are there to wake us up and give us the pep talks that we could bring the energy out and convince everyone that we were super, 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 super awake for the whole 24 <laughs> hours and that there wasn't even a second of us lulling down. Uh, especially in today's hard times with COVID, I want to say a massive thank you to everyone involved for following COVID guidelines so stringently. Thanks to everyone involved in testing. Uh, thanks to the student union who supplied those antigen tests. And just a massive thanks for everyone for looking out for one another and trying their very, very best to keep everyone safe for Christmas. Um, I think it's safe to say on behalf of all the presenting team that being in a position to share our wonderful gifts and talents of whatever you call this, creativity, magic, just wackiness, daftness, as they say, um, it has been an absolute honour. Continuing in the legacy of the broadcast over the last number of years um, and to just add a bit of joy to the world because, as we know, laughter is the lubricant of life. And I don't, I'm not joking. I'm not joking about that. I'm deadly serious. I'm deadly serious. It makes the world go round and we have added so much joy to the world over the last 24 hours that I, I'm honestly just overcome by it. And to be doing all that, to be channeling our gifts collectively for such a worthy cause, the Dublin Rape Crisis Centre providing support and lights for people in very, very dark times. And we may never know who may have to avail of those services as this problem is so common in today's world that it might be close to us, that we might actually know, and that might need that helping hand. So to be able to provide funds for this cause, to give that option, to give that light to people that are in a very dark tunnel is an honour and a privilege. gentlemen for the final time this evening your 24 hour presenters <laughs> Cheers, guys. Now, uh, I know uh, you're probably sick of seeing and listening to me and you do see a lot of me on this side of the camera throughout the 24 hours but I would be absolutely useless and shambolic without uh, one particular gentleman. So Daniel Breen, if you'd like to come up here with me, grab a mic, let's go. Daniel Breen, everyone! Um, so myself and Daniel have the absolute privilege of being the uh, TV managers for this year. And it's, it's weird because we keep referring to the broadcast of last year as in a year ago, but it's only six months. So we have a full semester left, and uh, yeah, I'm just awesome. so excited to do it with this guy, honestly. Um, throughout the past 24 hours, the weeks, the days up in advance, 
anything I could rely on him for, cameras, tech, the crew that he assembled is just phenomenal. So cheers, Dan. Cheers, really Dan. appreciate it, yeah. man. Uh, basically the same for you. Everything that wasn't tech. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I could rely on you. <laughs> no, no, no. But basically, like, helping with the presenters, like, I'm pretty much useless with that because I didn't get <laughs> presenter. Um, we're very complimentary, basically, is all yeah, we're trying yeah, yeah. to say. Um, but we're just going to take a few minutes here, if it's OK, to thank uh, some very, very important people. Um, firstly, Ashley from Newbar and all the lads up there from your unbelievable donation to just your countless hours and energy and time that you give us, not just at the broadcast, but throughout the year, the shite that you put up <laughs> when we're in Newbar on a Monday evening. Um, thank you so much. Um, Tech-wise, Owen Campbell, Damien Hickey, and of course, Keir Breslin and Aoife Brady, two past members who, honestly, like, we'd ring them and they'd always be on the end of the line. And that's just so important. Yeah, like, if it wasn't for them, this broadcast wouldn't have happened. <laughs> no, as we all know, the technical difficulties. I think Jack Collier was going to go into complete meltdown <laughs> um, over there. But he pulled it through. And like that, the whole tech uh, subcommittee are just complete legends, superstars. Round so let's a big round of applause for the tech subcommittee. <laughs> We'd also like to thank our sponsors, Firehouse Pizza, who literally have kept us going. <laughs> I think everyone at one point was counting down the minutes until the next delivery. Um, Red Bull, Coca-Cola, Londis DCU, and the DCU Campus Store. And then our lovely giveaways, the West County Hotel in Clare, Sweet and Green, the Radisson Blue in Limerick, and of course, Presatora. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So now that... Uh, the admin's out of the way, it's time to get down to the heartfelt stuff. Yeah. Get the tissues out. Get them out. Kate Burke's ready to go. She's <laughs> welling up. Um, but no, honestly, um, first of all, the real star of the show, the Dublin Rape Crisis Centre. Um, thank you so much for letting us do this. Um, it really is um, amazing. And Yeah, the work they do is just... It's so important helping people that in tough times like that. And I, I can't say any more about it. It's something that just yeah. really, really matters. And, and the money, like, we can't wait to pass it over to you. Yeah. And let you know. Um, so thank you so much. Of course, everyone who's donated, everyone in this room who's donated, everyone at home who's donated, thank you so, so much. And honestly, we all have great crap here. Honestly, the laugh that we've had over the past 24 hours. Tears of joy, yeah. some tears of sadness, <laughs> but mostly tears of joy. But that figure at the end of it, looking at that now on all of our phone screens, just really does reiterate what it is all for. So it makes us so proud of everyone here does. and everyone who donated. Absolutely, and like that, thank you. If you're at home and you're still watching, thanks for staying with us. And if you're at home and you donated, no matter how big or small, thank you so, so much. And then, of course, our four presenters. I honestly, I could tell you, and I think anyone else who's on the panel agreed with me, as soon as we saw these guys and their parents, we knew straight away. It was instant. Yeah. Literally straight away, we knew it was their gig. And uh, I honestly, they couldn't have done a better job. Yeah, so round couldn't applause have done a better job. So round of applause. <laughs> um, they're all in first year. I personally can't wait to have next semester and a whole other year to see what they get up to. Hopefully work with them on the committee next year if they'll have us. <laughs> <laughs> and now, of course, I do want to say a particular thank you to Clubs and Socks and Siobhan Byrne and one particular man who unfortunately isn't here with us. He would be um, Josh Moffat. Uh, <laughs> Josh, uh, I know you're watching. I don't even have to say if you're watching because I know you're uh, a very, very dear friend of mine. and. Uh, he was definitely here with us. He wasn't in the room, but I know he was here. Um, so, Josh, thanks for everything you do for us constantly throughout the year. Josh Moffat! <laughs> Finally, uh, we're coming down to our subcommittee. The broadcast subcommittee have been stellar. Honestly, um, like me and Dan stand here, and we do the thank yous and get the kind of yeah. glory. But we're just two absolute idiots <laughs> um, who some people let us do this and thankfully we've got such a good team behind us particularly the tech team yeah like Wouldn't honestly be here 
I can't Ooh. tell you. The amount of times over the past 24 hours, the guys are just on the ball, anything goes wrong. All of the, like, the camera work, the shots, the editing. These guys are all just students. We're all just doing this just for the crack, giving up our weekend before Christmas. And honestly, I couldn't have asked for a better tech team. Yeah, I'm honestly. sure you'd say the same. You yeah, just honestly, just it's a relief just knowing that they're there, knowing exactly what they're doing. Yeah. And just there's someone to rely on, do you know what I mean? Absolutely. And uh, of course, the baddest PRO in the land, Rachel yeah. Kiernan. <laughs> Rachel, I... Rachel amazes me because like she was constantly working. I never saw her away from her laptop at any point. I was slacking off talking to people, having <laughs> a laugh, you know, but Rachel was constantly on her laptop. She was stressed and she was getting the work done, but she would always have a smile on her face. No matter what way we were going, you walked into the room and you'd sit and chat with her and you'd be grand, everything would be fine, regardless of what's going on. She's such a sweetheart and we're so blessed to have her on the committee and have had her part of the broadcast this year. And like that, we extend that to her subcommittee, the PR subcommittee. Uh, the guys are great. Um, like that, the tweets, the stories, the endless, endless hounding of people, um, celebrities flooding the Twitter timeline. Um, you know, it wasn't, wasn't just one person. It was a whole team of people, and uh, they've been doing great work in the weeks up to this and for the weekend. So thank you, all of you. Woo. Um, a very, very, very important part of this year, and one of the, the parts that I think me and Dan are proudest about is the set behind us. Gorgeous, yeah. Absolutely phenomenal work, and that's down just to Josh Elul, our uh, first year rep. So a huge round of applause for Josh. Woo! <laughs> Him, himself and his subcommittee we're just honestly we're standing here on the ball. setting up on saturday and we're looking we're like where will we do this next all the doors opened and there were presents and boxes and banners and a fireplace and chairs and couches and a picture of dan <laughs> coming in and like that within a few hours we had this unbelievable thing so no matter what happened here on the stage we were all set with this you know it really gave us huge boost of confidence yeah. starting the broadcast. So thank you so much, Josh. We really, really appreciate it. Um, another person I personally really want to thank um, is Lara Walsh for Grazzi. Uh, honestly, this woman is just formidable in every single sense of the word. And um, the stuff she was making over the past 24 hours alone has blown my mind, let alone the work that she does on the run up to it. Um, she came in and helped me and Dan at a really kind of difficult point yeah. in the run up to the broadcast and I'll just be forever grateful for that. Honestly, yeah. Thanks um, so much, Lara. So thank you to Lara and of course her whole subcommittee. The graphics have been insane, um, as always. And uh, like, I get excited when Lara's working on a project because I just dying to see what it is. And yeah. every single time, it's just Yeah, just the, even the t-shirts, like just having those t-shirts. Like, just look beautiful t-shirts. Shirt. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, uh, Lara, thanks, honestly. <laughs> and uh, of course, we can't go without mentioning our ads and stings teams. I, the ads this year were so good. We had so many of them, and ads are always a worry that me and Dan were kind of mm. like, you know, oh, we need to try to get more ads. Will we do them? Like, trying to, we didn't have to hound anyone. Um, you know, we did an ads workshop a few weeks ago. <laughs> Funnily enough, I think, what, there's five people there? Ah, uh, yeah, there was like five, five people. people there. Now, yeah. it's exam season, it's busy. Like, but even with those five people, we made some great ads, and you saw them all throughout the past 24 hours. So thank you so much to everyone involved in those committees. Um, and, of course, the sponsorship and fundraising teams. Like, this is what it's all about. Um, it keeps us going. It's the type of stuff that you probably take for granted in events like this, you know. A lot of people are worried about what's going on here, um, you know, what shows are on, what way the cameras are set up, but that doesn't matter if we don't have that kind of support system around us. So thank you so much to Ashling um, and NASA for all their hard work there and their entire teams. Let's have a round of applause for them. Yeah. We're 
We're nearly, nearly there. I know we're all wrecked. We're so tired. I'm getting very delirious at this stage myself. But uh, I just want to thank every single one of you who came, filled out the forms, got tested, made sure everything was as safe as possible, kept your masks on, kept in your pods, and we're here on campus with us. Because last year, or in May, as we say, we had 20 people, and uh, it's, it's tough. So even having these extra people here, this was, it felt like a proper broadcast. And every single one of you did, myself and Dan, yeah. and the entire society, immensely proud. So please give yourselves a round of applause for all of your hard work up to this weekend and the two days. <laughs> um, I always leave these two to last because they're obviously very, very dear, uh, very good friends of mine. They're always there, whether it be MPS or anything else, uh, for myself and Dan. Yeah. They were there the past month when we needed a bollocking, when we needed uh, <laughs> yeah. a hand with something, when we needed a chat, when we needed a laugh, when we needed a pint, a cup of tea, you know? Um, and I could stand here and talk for hours about them. I won't, but I could. <laughs> um, and it's Sarah and Rory. Um, just a round of applause first before I went for <laughs> um, Sarah and Rory, and I mean this in the most respectful way to any previous chair and vice chair, but Sarah and Rory are the dream team. They are the dream chair and vice chair. Um, honestly, they are literally just there for every single person on the committee. No matter how big or small the issue is, they are there, their phone is on, um, even just for a chat during the week, if you're, you know, you're having a busy week. And naturally, this semester was difficult for every single one of us. Um, coming back to campus life, trying to get these things going, trying to keep up with assignments, trying to keep up with exams. And um, just that didn't phase them at all. And they're so understanding for every single person on the committee, every single person in this room. And you know, events like this can't happen without people who are willing to do that. And people who, um, you know, are so selfless in the fact, nine out of 10 times, they're putting other people ahead of themselves. And I think that's probably the best way I could describe Sarah and Rory. Um, so I'm not gonna talk about them anymore because I'd love to bring them on and give them a proper thank you and hear from them. Sarah and Rory, everyone. Ah, uh, well, now, oh, and you no. can all save your crying jokes because they're not funny, no and I'm an emotional person, okay? Um, the broadcast has just always been a really special one for me and Rory. Um, from a personal standpoint, it's... I, like, I don't mean to be dramatic when I say this, but it really did just change the whole course of my life. Um, it's... It's not something you can really, I don't know what camera is it, which camera is it, this one, sorry. Um, I was just completely facing my back to you, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, like um, I think everyone here tonight can agree that you don't really know how, how meaningful the broadcast is until you experience it for yourselves. And me and Roy had that pleasure of doing it together in first year. Mm -hmm. um, we had the pleasure of opening our first one, now we have the pleasure of closing our last. Yeah. Um, but. I think it's safe to say neither of us um, wouldn't be where we are or the people we are without that experience. Um, so we are eternally grateful to MPS and everyone who stuck by us through that. Um, but Dan and Owen have kind of covered everything. Um, but there are a few people who just simply can't be thanked enough. Hmm. Well, I was just going to say before you said that. Sorry. Um, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> About, I, you know, MPS, in, for our college experience has been the most amazing and unbelievable thing for us. And it's hard to wrap your head around. And again, this event, like Sarah was just saying, is like the, the center of college for me and everything. And it's 
and I, I don't think I'll ever be able to wrap my head around how much that meant to me. And so in thinking of that, I wanted, I was thinking of all the people who came before us that really helped us and instilled this love of all of this to us. And in particular, uh, Dylan and Kyle, who we love very dearly, and Maeve and Dylan. Uh, the other Dylan, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Dylan McGlory, who are also our best friends. So, yeah, that's what yeah, I wanted no, to say definitely. about that first. We've always said that MPS is... Um, the love is a trickle-down effect for the society, and it has to come from the top in order to reach um, everyone else. And by, like, we've just been so lucky that for our whole experience, that love has just been so intense and so like giving to everyone. And it's just... It, just words can't describe how grateful we are for mm, it. So yeah. we know all four of those people are watching and there are countless others as well. But um, yeah. first and foremost, thank you to them. Um, then in terms of pulling off tonight's event, mm -hmm. there are numerous others. Um, first and foremost, everything that we do is for the charity when it comes to the broadcast and the DRCC. It has just been an absolute privilege to represent you and your um all the people you help and support. Um, I think Connor uh, Smith covered it really beautifully, so I don't want to tarnish <laughs> the memory of what he said, mm -hmm. but um, you're just a fabulous organization and I couldn't have picked a better one to end our broadcast experience yeah, with. So exactly. thank you so much. Um, and on the note of that, the presenters themselves have been absolutely phenomenal and you know, given that we know what the job is like and know what it entails, you know when you see amazing presenters and they, they have it. They have exactly all of it. So well done to them. Woo! So, um, and then, of course, the people we don't see, but the people who see us, the public and the people who donate, Everyone watching right now, or, or everyone who's tuned in over the last 24 hours, even if it's just for five minutes, words can't describe how much it means. We, we would all quite happily put this on and try and raise money with, with the knowledge that no one was watching us, just mm. doing it yeah. <laughs> because we love it and because we know it's going to lead to great things for a really fantastic organisation. But um, knowing that people are taking time to watch what we create and even give money towards our passions and mm. organizations that we really, really support. It's, it's yeah. just a phenomenal feeling. So thank you all for sticking with us. 24 hours is a long time. Yeah. So <laughs> thank you for sticking <laughs> with us so no matter how long. Um, so to the committee, I mean, first of all, these fellas right here, what a duo they are. And we're so thankful that we have them. Um, as they said themselves, they complement each other so well. I mean, what what can we what can be said? <laughs> what else can be said about them? They're just brilliant. More we love them. Yeah, we <laughs> <We'll love laughs> um, You left everything out here tonight, lads, and that's the most important exactly. thing. Like that's what a good TV manager should yeah. do. And you were an excellent TV manager, so we're so grateful to you both. Um, um, and yeah. then, obviously, Rachel Kiernan. What a woman. Mm. A powerhouse. What, did you call her a dancing machine? Mm -mm. Forget <laughs> dancing machine, more like PR machine. Um, Rachel was just there carrying on, not a bother to her. Um, it's a hefty task, and it's an even heftier task when you're in final year in yeah. a really high-pressure environment mm. coming out of a pandemic. I don't know how she did it, but she found a way and did it all, as Owen said, with a smile on her face. She always had a moment for everyone. She facilitated everyone's ideas. When things went wrong, she just put them right without coming to anyone looking for advice or, gu or guidance. She just, aside from being an insanely talented and capable individual, she just has the best heart of anyone I know. So. Rachel, like, we love you so much. Oh, my God. And um, just couldn't have asked her anymore. And the whole committee, you've just been unbelievable. And, like, not only, like, are you a joy to work with, but, like, you're also dear, dear friends. Mm. So 
But of course, there's one lady in particular um, who's been a part of our broadcast really from the beginning, and mm. we don't want to say goodbye if it's not with her. So, Lara, <laughs> come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> You're going to make me soft and light <laughs> again. <laughs> um, not only has Lara been our best friend, but she's just been our support system. She's just uh, a truly unbelievable person, mm. and she just has made time for every single person in this society. No questions asked. If you think me and Rory are selfless, well, you haven't met Lara. <laughs> um, so... I suppose, um, I don't really know what to say, but I just, yeah. we're just so grateful to be here, the three of us, yeah. and seeing through what we started all those years ago, yeah. by all those years ago, I just mean two years ago, <laughs> it hasn't been that long. It feels a long time. It feels a long time, so. I think that's it, isn't I it? I think that's it. Um, so, we'll let Owen and Dan get back to it, but thank you so <laughs> thank much, you. everyone, and to everyone here as well, you've, you've all been deadly, and we love you lots. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Check what we're on. See what we're hidden. We so we're still on 10,445. That, <laughs> that link obviously stays live for the next few hours, the next few weeks. So like that, let's hound people, let's harass them. Maybe next week when they've forgotten about the broadcast. (laughs) And let's try and boost a few more funds. We're going to leave you, as is tradition, with a a lovely Christmas carol. So we'd like to invite the full cast of uh, the broadcast 2021 to kind of stand up, move yourselves around the studio. And uh, let's send it off, guys, yeah? Here we get some tables. We all spread out and then we can move our cameras around. Maybe towards the stage, maybe? Yeah. Are we bringing everyone in here? Or are we doing no, 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 no. on the stage? Keep everyone. Do you want our mic stand there, Dan? Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to go mic stand. Yeah. Grab another one, put them down like this. We'll have one down here. Before the crowd is alive, everyone's going.